Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be installing the third party tools and libraries that we will need to develop our application. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to open up our terminal or our command line prompt. So we need to open it up as the administrator. So I'll right click and then right click on command prompt and then select run as administrator. I'll be prompted with this window and just say yes. Okay, so once our terminal is open, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to upgrade our version of the pip installer. So mine should be at the latest version, but I'll just type in the command so that you guys can upgrade your version of pip as well. So it's python dash m pip install dash dash upgrade and then pip so that's the command enter so as you can see my version of pip is already at its latest version so after you upgrade the version of pip the next thing that we are going to do is we are now going to install the third party python libraries using the pip installer so it's pip install the first library that we will be installing is booker which is our reporting library or the library that allows us to create charts plots and dashboards so it's booker b-o-k-e-h so as you can see i already have mine installed the next library that we need to install is pandas it's pip install pandas as you can see pandas is already installed on my machine and the last library that we need to install is sklearn which is our data science library which is the library that we are going to use to build the machine learning model so it's pip install sklearn okay so once those libraries are installed the next thing that we need to do is we need to download our data file right which is the data set that we'll be working with while building our dashboard application so let's open up our web browser and then navigate to my github repository which is called ebesys github okay and then click on the first link And now we are going to select the water watch repository. Okay. And this is the file that we want database.csv. Let's click on that. Okay. And then we select download. So this will open up the contents of the file inside our browser as we can see so now we can right click and then save as okay so in your downloads folder you can save it there so the first thing that we need to do is we need to remove the database.csv.txt extension and then just leave database.csv right and then click save so I already have this file so I'm gonna select no okay so once you have downloaded the file we are now ready to start the project so that's it for this video I'll see you guys in the next one